Hey guys, on today's video I'm going to be teaching you how to delete your purchase app history directly from your iPad, okay? So as you know, you can do it from iTunes on your computer, but decide to do it from your iPad. Okay, so right away, go into your App Store. Now this is the same thing for iOS 9 or 8, so whether you're in each one, it's the same thing. Just go into your App Store, and right there, we're going to go into Purchases, Purchase. Um, now that's down here below you're gonna see future top charts explore and then purchase that's before updates okay updates your last tab um, at the bottom so just go into there and then you're gonna see them all or you can put or select not on this iPad so depends what you guys want so preferably right now not on this iPad because that means we already deleted them from the iPad within okay so make sure to delete them from your iPad first and then delete them from here. This is your purchase app history, okay? So you can see I have a lot of stuff and we're just gonna choose any random one. So, kick the cake, yeah, take the cake. I'm gonna delete, delete that one. So to delete it, all we have to do is slide our finger over the app to the left side, okay? So don't touch the cloud icon, but just tap on the app right there and then slide it and then you're gonna see hide. Okay, so I'm going to tap on hide, and there we go, it's deleted. So, um, once you hide them from there, um, if you have another iPad, for example, with the same Apple ID, you can go right into it, and you guys will actually not see the app there anymore. It does take some time for iCloud to update, so wait about 12 hours, approximately. I know that's a little bit too long, but that's how long it takes for the whole iCloud system to update uh, that you hit this app, okay? Um, I'm gonna teach you again. Uh, so let's just pick another app that's annoying. Um, let's just do this one. So, again, just hold your finger on top of the app, okay? So right in between that cloud icon and the drawing of the app and then just slide it to the left side Then you're gonna see this hide and then you can tap on hide and there it's gone Okay, so that's the only way that we can do this right now The reason why Apple does this and doesn't let you actually delete the app but hide it is because people um, have bought some of these apps so if you delete it, you know, if there was the option to actually delete, then you would lose that money and there would be problems and you have to get a refund and so on and so forth. So to avoid all those problems, Apple just made it so you have to hide them. Now, if you have a lot of apps that you don't want and you definitely want them deleted, not hidden, hidden is pretty much the same thing because you just don't see them there anymore in your purchase app history. And remember, all these apps that you have under your purchase app history do not take any any space on your iCloud or even on your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch, okay? So they don't take any space on anything. So they don't really, they shouldn't bother you that much. But yes, if you have this many like me, um, you may want to hide some of them so they're just not there in the way. Um, and it's easier to find whatever you're looking for later on. Um, again, Apple will not make a delete button just to avoid any problems, but he, uh, Apple will let you hide them which is almost the same thing so you guys just will not see them here in the purchase app history um, again if you guys really want to delete uh, all of them just get a new Apple ID and re-download whatever you guys want to download and that's it that's how you can get a fresh start with this thing other than that all you guys can do right now is hide them and that's how you do it on an iPad anyways that's it for this video tutorial if you guys have any questions comments you can write them down here below in the comments area and don't forget to subscribe and rate thank you